Imagine creating your own professional 3D avatar builder, fully customizable and ready to use in any project. In this new video series, I will show you exactly how to do that, step by step using 3.js and React. Hi, in today's video, we'll have a look at what we will build and set up our project. First of all, why build an avatar configurator? Well, not only is it a complete professional level project, but the ultimate goal is to have good looking animated avatars ready to use in the previous and upcoming tutorials. If we look at Ready Player Me, The Sims and Animal Crossing, we can get some design inspirations and an idea of the features we will implement such as choosing between different assets to customize the head and body parts, picking different colors for the skin and hair, switching clothes and accessories, and finally, generating a final lightweight version of our 3D model. For the style of our avatars, we will take inspiration from cute small characters found on Dribble and Pip's avatar builder. Thanks to Kirzos, you can freely reuse the assets from this project in yours, a good reason to follow her social media. If you are looking for a different style, the concepts are the same, and I will show you how to prepare your assets to work with our setup. Here is the technical stack we will be using for this project. 3.js pair with React 3 Fiber for 3D rendering in the browser, Tailwind CSS to build and style the UI quickly, Justin for state management, and Pocket Base for our backend to store and manage avatar data. Let's get started by setting up a new React 3 Fiber project. To create our React app, we will be using Vit. If you are using npm, you need to copy this command. In my case, I'm using yarn, so I will run yarn create Vit. In the folder of your choice, in the terminal, paste the command, hit enter, it will ask you the project name. I will name it r3f ultimate character configurator. Enter. Then I select the framework, I will choose React. And you have the choice between TypeScript or JavaScript. Choose whatever you prefer, but for the lack of simplicity, I will stick to JavaScript. Now it created a folder, we can go File, Open Folder and open the folder it just created. Run Yarn to install the dependencies and Yarn Dev to run the development server. You can open the link that it will prompt you and we have a starting app with React with the count button. For the UI, we'll be using Tailwind CSS. We can follow Install Tailwind CSS with VidGuide. We need to install three dependencies, Tailwind CSS, PostCSS, and Auto Prefixer. Because of the dash D, we will need to use save dev with yarn. Yarn, add dash dash dev, and paste the three package names. Then we need to run this command. Simply paste and enter. It will create a Tailwind config.js. We can copy this part for React. Open Tailwind config.js. In the content, paste what we have. Then in our CSS file, we need to paste those lines on the top. Let's open index.css. We can remove everything and paste it. Let's run again our development server and let's clean a bit the template. We have app.css, we won't be using it. App.jsx, which is where our app will start. We can get rid of everything here. Also the import. And let's check if Tailwind works. Let's take the example here, paste it in the middle of the app. Don't forget to remove app.css that we deleted. And we now have hello world. It is bold and underlined, defined by font bold and underlined classes. If like me, you like Tailwind and you want the detail of the classes when you hover a class name, go to the extensions on the left, search for Tailwind and it's Tailwind CSS IntelliSense. Now let's add 3.js with the React 3 Fiber library to be able to render 3D models inside our web application. We need to install the following packages, 3, the types of 3, and React 3 Fiber. Yarn, add and paste the package name. And to have our disposal a lot of useful React components to use React 3 Fiber, we will also install a React 3 Dry library. Yarn, add, at React 3 Dry. We can run again yarn dev and hide the terminal. Let's add some 3D to our scene. We can remove this, add a canvas. This is where our rendering will be done. We can set up our camera position with camera, 
position and we will set 3, 3 and 3. Let's add a cube with a mesh containing a box geometry of 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5 and a mesh normal material. If you have ESLint errors like this, a known property from the rule ESLint, a quick fix to get rid of it is either to remove ESLint or to add this rule React No Unknown Property to ignore when it's on the args. Save it and you don't have the error anymore. Let's also add orbit control component from React 3 Dry to be able to rotate the camera. And if we look, we have our cube and we can rotate the camera, but the canvas is way too small. Let's adjust this by going to our CSS, adding a root, set the width and the height to be the full screen, which is our main container, and also to remove the default margin on the body. To be sure it's taking the whole screen, we can also add a background color on our canvas, with color attach background, we'll set it to be very dark. Seems the attach is also causing issues, so I will remove ESLint. Let's open package.json, remove all the lines related to ESLint, also the script, yarn to refresh the modules, and on the left, remove the ESLint config, and should be good for now. We can see our canvas is taking the whole page. To save our project progression and to deploy the different versions of our project, let's create a GitHub repository. I will name it R3F Ultimate Character Configurator. I will keep all the other things like this and create repository. It's giving me a few comments. I will just take the commit, the branch and the push, then in the terminal, I will run git init. I will git add all the files. By default with bit, you have a git ignore, so it's not taking the node modules. And I can paste all the other comments. If we reload this page, we should have our code, perfect. Then to deploy your project, you can use the platform of your choice. But I recommend you to use LSTO, which is my go-to solution for deploying my own projects. And I'm not saying this because they are the sponsor of this video. I'm using it for years and my React 3 Fiber course is hosted with it. If you choose to use Elestio, click on login. Then I already have a service running, but I will show you in the default project here. Head to CICD. You can connect your GitHub account. Mine is already connected. And then you choose the repository that you want to deploy. For me, it's the latest one, import deploy either on a new VM or an existing one, choose between the different cloud providers, region and service plan, which is basically the number of CPU, RAM and storage. The smallest one will work good for our project and hit next. Then you can choose which branch will be deployed when a modification is pushed on it. Currently we only have main, we will select this one. We have a static website, but if you are using next, you would select full stack. If you are in server side rendering, if not, SSG would be static too. Then you can change the build and output setting. Our install command is yarn install to build yarn build. And the output, if we run yarn build, you can see here or on the left that the build is done into the dist folder. So the output here is slash dist. Then we are not using environment variables, we can create our CI CD pipeline. Once the deployment is done, you will receive an email and you can access your deployment here. And our project is now online, we can use it. Any change we will do on the main branch will automatically trigger a new build. Thank you for watching. In the next video, we'll dive into setting up our database with Pocketbase and fetching assets directly into our app. If you are ready to build your own 3D avatar configurator, hit that subscribe button and follow along as we build this project step by step. See you in the next video.